What's up, Nerds and Geeks? My name is OMGWTF, LOL, FTW, BRB, and welcome to Surprocker Sunday. Surprocker Sunday is one of the days of the week that I choose to really play any game that I want, such as the game that we've been playing for many, many months now, the arcade playthroughs of Cartoon Network, Punch Time Explosion. This time around, we're going to be playing as the Toilinator from the Codename Kids Next Door series. His color palette includes an orange bowl, I guess, a green bowl, and of course, the evil version, but we're going to stick to classics, of course, as always. Toilinator took to the opportunity to prove himself as a respectable villain when he was transported into a new dimension. As he spotted his first opponent, Toilinator prepared to fight with all of his strength. So anyway, uh, a reoccurring theme I've been um, I've been doing in these these videos, such as the Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 videos, or the Cartoon Network Punch and Explosion, at least the arcade playthroughs, is giving you information on the characters I'm playing as and since this time around we've been playing as the Toilinator I'm gonna give you info on him unfortunately unlike the ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 playthroughs I can't really give you as much information as I was like on the Cartoon Network characters considering they're part of a series and not you know not a um not you know like they don't have as much history as the other the other game I just mentioned so I do try to give you as much, but also with the um, Cartoon Network ones, I also give you information on the person that voiced him, such as, you know, other things he's voiced in. So anyway, Toilinator, real name is known as Lou Pottingsworth III, was voiced by D. Bradley Baker, is the most pathetic villain in the Codename Kids Next Door series, is considered an embarrassment by the other villains, to whom he is constantly trying to prove to himself. He has control over toilets and toiletries. He also the ah, he's also the self-proclaimed arch nemesis of Number Four, who was later revealed to be his nephew in the comic story Operation History. Now that's all the information that Wikipedia gave me on the Toilinator. Me personally, I don't remember the the nephew part, but the one episode that comes to mind when I think of Toilinator is the episode where he's basically a badass. Oh, we have a little grudge match here. Yeah, he's basically a badass. It was like the Villains Awards or something like that? I don't remember it all the way. I'm sorry, but it, he was badass in that. Anyway, information on D. Bradley Baker. I'm just going to give you everybody that I found that he voiced. So, he was the voice of Porco Rosso. I'm not sure if that's the actual voice. It didn't say give me a c character he was. No, he was the... Yeah, sorry, excuse me. Um, yeah, he didn't give me a, a character he was. But um, it says all I got was Porco Rocco, the English version of 2003. He was in Puzzle Place. He was the voice of Jody. At Repetence, I believe that is. He was the voice of Matthew. No Smoking, he was the dad. And Space Jam, he was Daffy Duck, Tasmanian Devil, and the Bull. A Rat's Tail, he was Mo Monty Rat, Monty Mad Rat Jr., excuse me. And the Jungle Book Mog Mowgli's, I think I pronounced that right, Mowgli's Story, he was Bee, Elephant, and Baboon. In Zoo Mates, he was Zookeeper, Vendor, and Guy Number Two. By the way, I'm on, I'm doing the films right now. In the Wacky Avengers of Ronald McDonald, Scared Silly, he was Sunday, and he was in he was in All Dogs Christmas Carol. Doesn't give me a character, and he was also in the Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald, The Legend of Grimace Island. He was also a Sunday. He was also Sunday in there. And my brother the pig, he was Pig George. Alvin and the Chipmunks meet Frankenstein, he was the tour guide. The Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald, the visitors from outer space, he was Sunday. <laughs> and Tom, he was in Tom Sawyer, he was the rebel. The trumpet of the swan, he was Louie. The Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald, birthday world, he was Sunday and TV monitor. Got a new character. And Jimmy Neutron, boy genius, he was NORAD officer. The Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald have time will travel. He was Sunday and TV monitor again. And Dan Danger, he was Dan Danger. And the Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald, the legend of McDonald Land, McDonald Landlock, he was Sunday. And George of the Jungle 2, he was Water Buffalo and Little Monkey. And Stitch the Movie, he was David Kawini. I don't know if I pronounced that right. And 51st Dates, he was Men at the Restaurant. Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed, he was the 10,000 Volt Ghost, Zombie, and Red-Eyed Skeleton. And my generation, GG Gap, doesn't really give me a character for him, but he was in that. And the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, he was Man Cop, Phil, and Perch Perkins. He was in the Toy Warrior, another thing that really didn't give me a, um, 
uh, voice for, or what character he played. He was inside Walt's story meeting. He was per Purse Pierce. And Aloha Scooby-Doo, he was Tiny Tiki, Surfer on Bike, California Surfer, Dude, Local Guy Number 1, Wild Pig, Gecko, and Flamethrower. And here comes Peter Cut... Wow, I almost fucked that up. And here comes Peter Cottontail, the movie. He was Chunk. And through the Mor Mobius strip, he was Talking Head. He did additional voices in the Ultimate Avengers. In Asterix and the Vikings, he was Dogmatrix and SMS. In Choose Your Own Adventure, the Abdominal Snowman, he was Bucky. And Holly Hobby and Friends, Christmas Wishes, he was Wild Scarton, Doodles, and Cheddar. Um, I don't have a... No, I'm not even going to mention that one. It didn't give me a movie. It just gave me the character he voiced. In some movie, Nerds and Geeks, he was Bonehead Cider. But anyway, here is Toilinator's ultimate maneuver. And it's honestly badass. We didn't get to see it fully, so I'll talk more about that when we get to it. And Mickey saves Santa and other Mousecatails. He was various voices. He was Maurice and Happy Feet. And Holly Hobby and Friends, Secret Adventures. He was Doodle, Bonnet, Cider, Coyote, Squirrel, Owl, and Raccoon. And TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, he had additional voices. And Mickey's Treat, he was Wise, Owl, and Others. And Holly Hobby and Friends, Best Friends Forever, he was Willie Scratton, Bonet, Doodles, and Cheddar. And Dragon Lance, Dragons of Autumn Twilight, he was Pyros. And my friend Tigger and Pooh's Friendly Tales, he was Buster. Star Wars The Clone Wars, he was the Clone Troopers, Captain Rex, and Cody. And my friends Tigger and Pooh, the Hundred Acre Wood Haunt, he was Buster. Anyway, here is his synergy. He teams up with, from Man, with Mandark from the Dexter's Lab ser series, and Mandark has Toyonator robots that shoot things. And Beethoven's big break, he had he was the Animal Voices. Tigger and Pooh, and a musical too, he was Buster. G-Force, he was Mooch, I think that says. Bionicle, the Legend Reborn, he was Scrawl, Bone Horners, and Vorax. And Mickey's Adventures in Wonderland, he did various voices. The Haunted World of El Supabisto, he was Nazi Zombie. And Astro Boy, he was the Trash Can. He was in Waiting for Gold Blum, or Gold Blum, I guess, but I have no voice for that. Scooby Doo, Abracadabra Doo, he was Sherman. Astro Boy vs. the Junkyard Pirates, he was once again Trash Can. Furry Vengeance, he did a the animal voice effects. The Last Airbrender, he was Appa and Momo. Scooby-Doo, Camp Scare, he was Ranger Cunston. Mm -hmm. Woodsman, Fisherman, and Spectre. Family Guy Presents, It's a Trap, he was Clay's Hessler as Admiral Akbar. Alright. Star Tours, The Adventure Continues, he was Boba Bett. Phineas and Ferb, the movie Across the Second Dimension, he was Perry the Platypus, Perry the Platyborg, and additional voices. Beethoven's Christmas Avengers, he did the animal sounds. Justice League Doom, he was officer in charge at Newscaster. Frank and Weenie, Frank and Weenie, excuse me, he was Persephone, Shelly, Were-Rat, Colossus, Mr. Whiskers, and Giant Sea Monkeys. And Kumba, he was the meerkat father. And this doesn't really show off his ult too, so I'll get to it when I actually see it right. And Les Miserables, he was person at the end. And in upcoming movies in 2014, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie 2, apparently there's a second one. He's going to be Perch Perkins and Officer John. And he's, there's also a Phineas and Ferb movie. I'm assuming he's going to be Perry the Platypus in them once again. Now on to television. In the Legends of the Hidden Temple series, he was the announcer Olmac. And Timon and Pumbaa, he was Paperboy. Cow and Chicken, he was Dad, Boy, and Reporter. And Hey Arnold, he was Boy in the Park, Man Scaring Off Arnold, Caesar, Third Grader, and Arnold Betrays Iggy, Boy Being Thrown in the, in the Dump. Okay. The Real Adventures of Johnny Quest, he was Dr. Vetter and Williams. And Spider-Man, the 1997 series, he was Keenan Marlowe and Young Destroyer. And Rugrats, he was Mr. Turkey. He was in the Extreme Ghostbuster series, but once again, I have no voice for that. Jungle Comes, he was Bagiria. Shop Till You Drop, he was the announcer and co-host, by the way. A fantastic TV series, I wish they'd bring that back. The Angry Beavers, he was the announcer, Gary the Mongoose, and Squirrel. And Johnny Bravo, he was cop number one, Agent Pym, and ambulance driver. He was in the Men in White cartoon, or series, whatever it was, as a television film, it says, and the Lion Hearts, but once again, I have no voice for that. And I Am Weasel, he was Cow and Chicken's dad. Dad. 
Yes, that's two different people. Cow and Chicken's dad and then dad. And Grandpa. In the Wild Thornberries, he was Crocodile number one, Elephant, Kicks, Marquis Wallace, and Marquis Wallace, excuse me. And Uncle Gus, for in for the love of monkeys, he was Beloyus. The Journey of Alan Strange, Phil Berg. Good versus Evil, he was C. Arthur Troust. Mike Lou and Org, he was Ugg, oh not Org, Ugg. He was Ugg and Goat. The Powerpuff Girls, he was Monster number one. Baby Crying, and the announcer. SpongeBob SquarePants, he's Squilliam Fancy Son. Bubble Bass, Fish number one, two, and three, and additional voices. Sonic Underground, he was Chomps the Dinosaur, Carleek, and Carleek the Monster. The Eddie Files, he's the assistant director. Lost Cat, George Librarin and Seymour. Gotham Girls, he was the TV announcers, Bijou and Bongo. Pokeheenie's Yard, he was Billy White. Harvey Birdman, attorney at law, he was Lizardman, Avenger, and Forearm. As told by Ginger, he was Mr. Licorice, Stuart's Monkey, and Emis. And Family Guy, he's Hooded Monster, Claus Hessler as Admiral Akbar. My Freaky Family, he's Max. Jason and the Heroes of Mount Olympus, Pan and Additional Voices. The Wild Thornberries, The Origin of Donnie, Parrot 1 and 2. No P in the OOL pool. He was number 4. Pine Squad, he was Local 2. The Zeta Project, he was Dante. What's with Andy? He was Dad. The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, he was Mandy's Dad. Alien and Alien Moon Beast. The Fairly Odd Parents, he was Elmer, Sanjay, and Binky. Chalk Zone, he was Avery, Card, and Clown. The Jackie Chan Adventures, he was King Chi and Lamb's Assistant. The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius, he was the Captain. Invader Zim, Cutest Little Kid, Guy and Crowd, and Santa Grade. Whatever Happened to Robot Jones, he was Extra Kids, Frame, and Junior. Wow, I'm not going to have enough time to name all these, am I? Totally Splice, he was Lumiere, Willard, and Wolves. Samurai Jack, he was Ancient Mariner, Baby and Baby Number One. Boy, Justice Lander. League, he was Blockbuster, Perfect. Cop, and Older Mordred. What's Perfect. new Scooby-Doo? He was Flax, Double. Announcer, and Assistant Director. Perfect. Codename Kids Next Door, he was Number One, Delightful Children from Three, Down the Lane. Two, Henrik von Mesprins, Number 65.3. Tommy Gilligan, Joey Beatles, Braddy the Skunk, Mr. V, Toy Letter, and Mr. Fib. He was in Stuart Little, Static Shock, he was Monster. Free for All, Angus, Dexter's Laboratory, Billy, and Man Number 2, and Store Owner, I think. Dora the Explorer, he did the animal sound effects. Stripperella, he was Baby, Businessman, and Ozzy. Duck Dodgers, he was Alien Hunter, Attack Droids, and Captain Richards. Lilo and Stitch the Series, he was David Coini, Merwin, and Additional Voices. Teen Titans, he did Cinderblock, Plasmus, and Ganark. Jimmy Timmy Power Hour, he was Sanjay, Elmer, and Fairy Agent Number 1. Evil Con Carne, he was Alien, Condor, and Native Number 2. Megas XLR, he was Alien Number 1, Beast and Creatures. Super Robot Monkey Team Hyperforce Go, he was Dr. Menzeo and Monster. Danny Phantom, he was Lance Thunder, Mikey and Band-Aid Kid. Higley Town Heroes, he was Pizza Guy, Uncle Zooter, Egg Farmer and Hero. The Buzz on Maggie, he was Mort Little Boy. The X's, he was Rex, Dogs and Wild Boar. The Life and Times of Juniper Lee, he was Derek, Dragon and Genie. And W-I-T-C-H, Frost the Hunter, Gargoyle and Sniffer, Lunatics Unleash, Otter the Odd and Reporter, American Dragon, Jake Long, Leprechauns, Bromachius, Waiter and Baby Griffin, Avatar the Last Airbender, he was Appa Momo and Additional Voices, American Dad, Claus, Heisler, Monopoly Hobo, Pillow Hands, McGraw and Kisses, and for now on I'm actually just going to name the rest of the things he was in, because I don't think I'm going to have enough time. So he was in Plastic Man and Bubble Trouble, Jimmy Timmy Power... Two when nerds collide. The Boondocks, the Barely Odd Parents, and, a, and Fairly Odd uh, Idol. Codename Kids Next Door, Operation Zero. Hellboy Animated, s Animated Sword of Storms. Handy Manny, The Replacements. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. The Emperor's New School. Ben Ten. Oh fuck. Victorious yet without being honored as he had hoped. Toilet Air helped held his head high, but deep inside he was. He was. Why well, didn't move fast enough? Apparently. Crushed. Unable to control his true feelings, Toy and Arrow wept bitterly, but he was lucky enough to have plenty of... You'll never guess it, nerds and geeks. Toilet paper to wipe his own tears. You just got flushed. Yes, yes, we, he, they did just get flushed. Unfortunately, I don't believe I'm going to be able to name all the ones, and I have plenty more to go. But if you have any interest on the rest of the people that this guy has voiced, which I highly doubt you are, you be, feel free to look him up. I will tell you his name once more. His name is, as soon as I get there, 
his name, I, I forgot it already. His name is D. Bradley Baker. Like I said, if you have any interest in to find out all the rest of the people he's voiced, such as video game characters and stuff like that, feel free. Anyway, Toyonator, his standalone X, he throws a toilet piece of toilet paper. His side X's, or specials, I should say, he does that little pogo thing he's doing right there. Down X, he fires the two pieces of toilet paper side by side, and up he does the little tornado water thing. I do apologize again that um I couldn't finish it. That's the first time ever that's happened. But uh, I am going to show you here exactly what his finisher is. Toilinator summons a gigantic toilet, and what he will do, he'll send two water tornadoes, and then him himself will also turn to water tail. But I do hope you have enjoyed this arcade playthrough if you have nerds and geeks please leave me a like and also don't forget to subscribe as always i am omg wtf lol ftwbrb and i'll see you next time